Baruch Haba, everyone. Here comes lesson seven. And uh, seven in Hebrew is Sheva, like Elizabeth, Elisheva. So here we go. And today we're going to review the letters we've had so far and then move on to the letter Yud. So repeat after me. Uh, B, or can also be V, D, H, V, can also be O or U, H. The new letter Y can also be in the middle or at the end of the word an E. Really corresponds to our Y, but in in German, it corresponds to the J, which is why so many words uh, in, in our Bible have a J in them, but they really, in Hebrew, would have a Y. For example, think of any biblical words with a J. Joseph, Jesus, Joshua, those all should be a Y sound. This is the final kaf, ch, okay, l, m. Final m, final n, k, like a q, r, like an r, backwards r. And this one, remember, sh. Okay. Let's dive in. Please repeat after me. Ya. Okay, short for the name of God. So, ya. Hallelu, which means we learned the hallel on the last lesson, right? Hallel. And we learned hallelujah, y'all praise. Okay. Hallelujah, y'all praise the Lord. So this is a command. We're telling all of creation, y'all praise the Lord. So when you say hallelujah, you're not saying it to the Lord. You're saying it to everyone else. Everybody praise the Lord. Ruach Adonai. Okay, Ruach, spirit. And then here is the tetragrammaton, the four-letter word that we don't pronounce, that was pronounced on Yom Kippur in the Holy of Holies by the high priest. So we're not sure exactly how to say it, and, and out of reverence for the name of God, we don't pronounce it. We don't even try. We're going to substitute other things to say here. So the most common way is Lord. So we, we, we might say Lord in our Bibles, which in Hebrew is Adonai. Okay, But there are other things they might say like Hashem, the name, or even the Holy One, blessed be He, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So Ruach, and we're just going to say Adonai, but we could also say Ruach Hashem, or Ruach HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Okay, so this is the name of God, which is really like an identity. So we're addressing God in a loving way when we say Adonai, or when we write or see this word. We want to venerate this word, um, and we want to respect it like, a, a Jew wouldn't put something with this word written on it in their bedroom or in their bathroom where they're going to be changing in the presence of this word. In fact, this, this, we want to cover with reverence and respect, but also with love, this word that we're going to say for our purposes, Adonai, or translate it Lord. Okay, but it really means, it comes from the, the to be verb, it means the one who is, right? This is the revelation that the Lord gave to Moses at the burning bush. Kadosh, 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 Adonai. Okay, holy, 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 the Lord. This is the prayer that is the center of the Jewish, let's call it liturgy of the hours, three times a day. They pray this, holy, 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 the Lord, God of armies. All of the earth is full of his glory. And they are quoting, not Re Revelation, but Isaiah. So I, Isaiah 4 says, Holy, 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 the Lord God of hosts, heaven, uh, sorry, the all of the earth is full of his glory. They don't say heaven and earth. So Revelation's version says, heaven and earth are full of your glory. This is a place where we really unite ourselves to Jewish prayer. And also this this prayer, holy, 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 is is even more pronounced in the Eastern liturgies of the church. So we want, this is really something we want to, to internalize and to pray with, to perhaps pray with three times a day like Jesus would have prayed. Kadosh, 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 Adonai. Okay, 
if we want to do a, a glory, glory be, we're going to have to say to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. So this is la'av, v'laben, uluruach hakodesh. Okay, la'av, v'laben, uluruach hakodesh. Okay. Yachad, together, this is a, from the root word echad, which means one, we'll see again. Yachad, together. Yarad, okay, he went down. Yarad, Yarden, Yarden is, comes from this, goes down, and the Jordan goes down to the lowest place on earth. I'm going to mention for this word Yachad, a, a song that we sing when we do our trips to Israel, it's by Shlomo Karlebach. It goes like this. Yachad, 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 Yachad. That way you're going to remember that one. Okay, Yarad, Jordan. Again, here's a J that uh, turn, it, it comes from a Y, Yarden. Okay. Ha Yarden, the Jordan, Yarad, goes down. The Jordan goes down. Say it. Ha Yarden Yarad. So the Ha, the definite article. Ha Yarad. Ha Yarden. El Yah. God the Lord. Or God is the Lord. Okay. El Yah. And this is where we get the word, the name El Yahu. Okay. Eliyahu, so this, these three letters is three instead of two, abbreviation of the four-letter tetragrammaton. Eliyahu, Elijah, Yavo, will come. Elijah will come back. Eliyahu, Yavo, so this is the future of Ba. You put a Yud at the beginning of it. Yavo, okay. Ruach El. Ruach El, Spirit of God, instead of Spirit of the Lord. Shemo El, okay. Shem was name, his name, Shemo. Anytime you put a, a Bav at the end, uh, and an O sound, it's uh, the third person, masculine, singular, possessive. His, so his name is Shemo. Remember when we saw the the Bob at the end and it was U, that makes it plural imperative. But when it's an O, it's the possessive his. Shemo El, his name, El, God. Shemo El, which is where we get the name Shemuel or Samuel. Okay, Shemuel. So very often in a biblical word, if there's a sh in Hebrew, it becomes a s in Arabic, in Aramaic also for, well, Aramaic actually usually a sh. But it comes down to us as a s. So this was uh, perhaps a, a dialect question in Jesus' time, or some somehow they got into Greek with uh, missing the sh, and, and for us it becomes a s. Okay, Shemuel. And it's not Shmuel, there's not a w, Shmuel. It's Shmuel because of the Aleph. It makes a glottal stop. Shmuel. Okay. Last one. Yeshua. Okay. And it's a Y and not a J. And it's a Sh and not a S. Okay. Yeshua. Yeshua. And you hear this glottal stop as well. Okay. New letter, huh? We introduced this. Um, we'll get to this more in later chapters. But here is the... Uh, um, a new letter that's similar to the Aleph, the Ein, okay? And sometimes it's a little more guttural, especially if you're doing a more Eastern, Sephardi, Mediterranean pronunciation. Yeshua, HaMashiach, Mashiach, okay, Messiah. Yeshua, HaMashiach, Hu, Okay, this who is the same root word as the tetragrammaton, comes from the verb to be. Yeshua HaMashiach, who, which means he. Adon, okay? Adon. So Adon is similar to Adonai, 
but it's a more common way to say Lord. Uh, you can also use it in the street in Jerusalem to say, excuse me, sir. You would say, Slicha Adoni, uh, excuse me, my Lord. Adon is Lord, okay, in a more uh, informal sense. Yeshua HaMashiach Hu Adon. And we'll learn this song. Yeshua HaMashiach Hu Adon, Hu Adon. Likvod Elohim. Likvod Elohim Ha'av. Great, that's all for today. Have a good day.